right, final leg. So day eight of the World Championships is in the books. We had a lot of finals that went down on the track and in the field. Jumping into things, the women's 400 meter hurdles. First, we had Dalila Muhammad. She was coming in as the world record holder, running 53.20 from back at the USA Championships. Here we have had another enticing matchup between her as well as Sydney McLaughlin, who was touted to potentially break the record and was one of the favorites coming in to beat Dalila Muhammad. We had Dalila Muhammad in lane six, Sydney McLaughlin in lane four on her inside. So a lot of people said McLaughlin had the advantage, but Dalila Muhammad, she took it out extremely fast as she normally does. And she maintained just as she did at the USA Championship. She managed to come away with the win in another improvement on her world record, 52.16 seconds, a huge, huge mark for her. Again, improving that world record, but it was no disappointment behind her. Sydney McLaughlin, she was also pushing her straight to the line and managed to run a personal best of 52.23 seconds, also under the previous world record before Dalila Muhammad had set it earlier this season, just 0.3 seconds away from the world record Dalila Muhammad set. So great performance from both of these ladies, really setting themselves up for a huge matchup again going into Tokyo. I think Sydney McLaughlin might be the one to look out for. Of course, she's much younger than Muhammad, but these two are still going to be battling it out for the next couple years. So great performances from them. In third place for the bronze medal, we had Rochelle Clayton from Jamaica. She managed to come out with the bronze for 53.74, a personal best for her as well. So great performance for her. Again, Dalila Muhammad running 52.16 seconds, a world record again, one of the performances of the year for the women in 2019. All right, let's move over to the men's 400 meters. Of course, we know Michael Norman, the favorite entering this meet. He unfortunately did not make it out of the semifinals because of injuries that he suffered, but we did have a great field here with Steven Gardner, Fred Curley, Karani James, Michael Cedeno. A lot of these guys were going for that gold medal, but it was Steven Gardner from the Bahamas. He was able to get out really strong, maintain his pace, and once they came off the curve entering that final 100 meters, he had a really good step ahead of the field. He managed to pull away, running to that line, running a personal best of 43.48 seconds. That moves him to number six all time in the 400 meters. Amazing performance for him. In the silver medal position though, we had Zambrano from Colombia. He was actually not in silver medal position. He had a huge run down that straight to grab the silver over Fred Curley. He ran 44.15 to Fred Curley's 44.17. Curley did run really, really well. Of course, he was one of them who was going to be looking for gold, but unfortunately came up for bronze. But all three of these guys really performing very well. Again, Steven Gardner running that 43.46 seconds, making him number six all time in the 400 meters. So amazing performance for Gardner. Now moving into the men's high jump. Of course, this wasn't one of the highly anticipated events because it was so up and down throughout the season. There were no clear favorites entering the meet, but we did have Barshim, the 2017 world champion. He was coming to try and defend his title here in his home country. He was actually amazing throughout the entire competition. He had no misses except for two initial misses at 2.33 meters. He went on to win the gold medal with 2.37 meter jump on his first attempt. Amazing performance from him. He lit up the stadium. Of course, it's one of the most packed days that we had because he was competing here. So great performance from Barshim. Again, he was clean throughout the entire competition except for two misses at 2.33 meters. Right behind him, we had two Russian athletes competing as authorized neutral athletes. We had Akimenko. He managed to come up for the silver medal position with a jump of 2.35 meters. And then also with a jump of 2.35 meters, we had Ivanyuk. He was also great in the competition with clean performances except for two misses at 2.33. So great performances by these guys. But again, Barshim taking that gold medal, really overcoming expectations from the injuries that he's had throughout the past two years and getting that gold in his home country. Now, moving over to the men's 3,000 meter steeplechase, this wasn't one of the highly anticipated events coming into the meet, but it turned out to be one of the most exciting. We had El Bakali from Morocco. He was coming in as one of the favorites. In the final lap, he led from the bell and then going around the curve and into the back straight. But at the back straight, we had Kip Ruto, the 2017 defending champion. He managed to take the lead and start to lead the pack. We had the Ethiopians right behind them, specifically Gurma. He managed to come around at 200 meters, taking that lead, entering the water jump, and then was leading going into the final straight. But we had Kip Ruto right on his heels, about five meters back. Kip Ruto with one of his amazing stretch runs. He pulled alongside of him. They sprinted to the finish. It was Gurma and Kip Ruto. But Kip Ruto, the defending champion, he was given the win, running a great time, eight minutes, 1.35 seconds. So amazing, amazing performance from him. Gurma coming out in second place with eight minutes, 1.36 seconds. So really tight finish to the line for both these guys. And then, of course, we had Bakali. He wasn't left out. He got that bronze middle, 8 minutes, 3.76 seconds. So great performance by all these guys. Again, Kip Bruto, the defending champion, he managed to defend his title here in Doha. 
Now let's finish things off with the finals in the women's discus throw. A great competition between three ladies who had been the most consistent throughout the season. Of course, Dina Caballero and Yami Perez, the two Cubans. They were coming in as the favorites, having thrown really well throughout the season. But it was Yami Perez after going back and forth with her uh, countrywomen. Perez came out with the win, 69.72 meters. Great performance from her. Caballero just came up for silver, 68.44 meters. So really, really strong performance there. And then we had Sandra Perkovic, the 2017 world champion. She came up for the bronze medal in 66.72 meters. So great performance by all these ladies and they're setting themselves up well, hopefully going into Tokyo next year. So those are the finals that went down on the track and in the field for day eight. We did have some heats in the four by ones for both the men and the women. Most of the favorites got through the men's four by one for Canada. They unfortunately didn't get through to the final, but still going to see a great competition there. We also had the semifinals of the men's 1500. Most of the favorites managed to get through, but we did see a couple misses. We had Phil Philip Ingerbertson. He unfortunately did not make it through to the final. We had Ronald Musagala, uh, Tefera, uh, Suleiman. Those guys didn't make it through to the final, but we do have some of the favorites. Jakob Ingerbertson. We have Timothy Churia and some of the Americans as well. So keep a lookout for day nine. We're going to see some great competition there. We only have two more days left of the World Championships. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below on your favorite performance from day eight and for the rest of the championships looking forward. Make sure you guys like the video and we'll be back again very soon. Thanks.